All right. What's up? Try this again. All right. So this is a quick review of uh, the Hot X Cosser Loki helmet. Um, I already opened it, so it's not a true open box, but so basically you open it up, it comes in pieces. Um, now you get the helmet, and then you get the horns. Four horns. It's pretty simple. Um, now one thing I will say that I noticed when I opened it, um, you see these are the, the bottom of the horns, the top of the horns. Now if you compare the two right to the bottom, as you can see, this one is longer than this one. So obviously when it goes around, it's one's gonna be longer than the other. You take these two and you compare them. They're pretty much exactly the same size, which means that because of this one being longer, it's gonna be longer. Another thing, as you can see here, it's nice and rounded here, nice and rounded here, where this one, it's nice and rounded here, but on this side, it divots in. I'm um, not sure if that's the molding process. What I'm thinking about doing is just heating it with a heat gun. And then if you flex it and kind of squeeze it, it does bow back out, kind of. So I'm hoping with heating it up a little bit, it'll come out. Now, as far, the, as, as, far as the helmet, when I ordered this, I thought it was going to be hard plastic. This is more like a, a rubber. And the thing that I don't like about it is because of it being like that, it doesn't keep its shape. So you can, if you set it down like this, it's going to bow in and then when you take it out, they're going to be all messed up. So you want to try to think about getting some plastics or whatever and put them in here where it won't move. Um, it is kind of big. Um, it slides around, but you can put some padding on there and it'll stay in place. Now as far as attaching the horns, as you can see, have these little pieces here, and it's pretty self-explanatory. They kind of click right in. I'll kind of show you here. So you can't really put it on the wrong way. It it won't let you. So one has to go on one side, and the other has to go on the other side, basically. So put this in there, and that's basically what it looks like there. Now, as far as these, they have a little groove right here. And uh, you basically kind of fit it into that groove and they kind of stay on. But what you need to do is you need to basically epoxy them on or glue them on. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use epoxy and then I'm going to bond the edges here and then kind of give it a little damage, kind of like how it's here, and then repaint it. That way you won't be able to see. Um, See, one of them goes in really smoothly, which was the other one. The other, this one doesn't, which probably that's why it goes on this side. And then this one kind of goes on this side. I guess this is the easier side and this is the harder side. But anyway, um, I picked this up from X Cosser for $30. Um, not sure what the, the normal price is, but definitely the normal price was really high. For $30, I figured I could go ahead and order this, and if it sucked, it sucked. It was only $30. Bucks. Um, what I got, the quality is decent. Um, has their little logo right here. Uh, you get a little charm with it, you know. And then a little x coster stamp of approval type of deal. But um, other than that, for $30, it's not too bad. It's it's manageable. Um, could have made this with Warbla or foam or anything like that, but the time, the process, and everything like that would de definitely take you some time. So um, I might make a, another review once I actually finish this and put it together. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Take care. Thanks.